is finally in house. Now that more of America's carriers are starting to carry this device, I figured it's actually a good time to do a quick hands-on unboxing and quick discussion for this phone. I'm sure if you are watching this channel, you guys are very well aware of what this is. It's their new first entry into their Explorer program, which basically means it's going to do a lot of cool random stuff. All these new devices have something unique about them. This is the beginning of this program, and yeah, I can say LG definitely hit the nail on the head with the wing and really bringing back nostalgia really for what this device does and what it looks like with a modern 2020 twist. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Full disclosure, I have actually opened this up and got it charged. I wanted to give you guys a look at the user interface as soon as we get to it. So here you go. First things first is the wing. You have that swivel mode. You have a, a gimbal camera option a 6.8 inch POLED full HD display, no 2K here, and dual recordings if you want to use your front camera, that pop-up camera, or one of the three backup back cameras. Go ahead and throw the SIM card aside. You got your LG second year promise here. You got all your reading materials. You got your SIM card ejector in here. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's just go ahead and throw it over. You got your fast charger, which is USB-C. You're going to have a USB-C to USB-C adapter. And last but not least, you are going to have a headphone dongle if you so use wired headphones in 2020. Now, let's go ahead and push this all to the side. If you guys are not familiar with this, this is a 6.8 inch full HD display like I was telling you about, 64 megapixel primary rear camera, 8 gigs of RAM, 4000 milliamp hour battery, and you're not here for just this single display, you guys are here to check out that swivel display. Uh, and yeah, I think LG nailed it. The phone is definitely not too thick feels really good in hand. Speakers sound pretty good as well. You do have that full display, no cutout, no pop-up in the way, uh, no cutout or teardrop, in-screen fingerprint display, fingerprint scanner. Uh, it's been a fun little phone to use the last couple days. Again, you're getting this for the swivel screen, for the luxury factor with that. And what I mean with that is, as you can see, I got TikTok going at the bottom, YouTube going up top. It's a unique experience. You can do pairing apps. So obviously I have YouTube still going here and Apple website on the bottom. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's something totally different that you just don't see every day. It reminds me of the old sidekick. Uh, that was the first thing my wife thought of when she saw it. She was like, oh my God, they're bringing back something back from years ago. I was like, yeah, that sounds about right. One thing I do want to call out, the phone is a little bit heavy. Definitely some heft to it. Uh, you do have that triple camera setup that I was talking about. 64 megapixel main lens, 13 megapixel ultra wide, and another 12 megapixel ultra wide as well. Does shoot 4K 30. One of the big selling points on this too is that actual camera mode that you can get into. Let's go ahead and find it. Actually, let's make it even easier. So I do want to show you guys one other thing too while we go into this camera. You can only shoot 4K video when it is closed. If you flip it up and go into this gimbal mode or any of these dual recordings, you cannot do 4K video. You are locked into full HD. As you can see there, you can only change it between full HD and HD. So 720 or 1080 is what it's locked to. I found that you need a lot of light to be able to use this uh, and for it to work really well. You can see you actually have somewhat of a wide angle. Let me go ahead and angle this down for you. You have a wide range of motion, which is pretty impressive. But I just don't see how much of a useful use case you'll get if you want to record at a higher resolution. 
the video quality degrades very quickly when you actually are not in, uh, when you are in gimbal mode, excuse me. You can see the user interface kind of changed a little bit here as well. It allows you to kind of jump back into what you're doing when this other display is opened. They really did make a very, very well-built device. I think it's more of a proof of concept currently. Uh, I don't know if I'm sold on it yet. I've only been using it for a couple days. I like it. It's going to take some time getting used to. The battery has been pretty good. Not great. You have that quick charge 4.0 uh, adapter in the box, so it does charge up pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, two color options, Aura Gray and Illusion Sky. I, I just don't know for the price point if this is a phone for everybody. It's going to appeal to a unique crowd, and that's really, that's really it. One thing I didn't show you talking about that camera again is that pop-up selfie, which you can see right there. What's up, guys? Uh, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it worth a thousand dollars when you can go get a Pixel 5 for almost, you know, a little more than half of that? It's going to be the question right now. If you can snack or if you can snag one of these on a sale, I think that's going to be your best bet. I know T-Mobile right now is running a buy one, get one free. You don't even have to add another line. You just have to have one on that installment plan to get that credit. Snapdragon 875, or excuse me, Snapdragon 765 chipset. You are getting 5G, mid-range processor, same as what you're getting in the Velvet. Again, I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below and let me know. I'm really curious. It has some great specs for the 128 or 256 storage. I, I just don't know if it's for everyone. But we'll get into that in our full, full review. I got camera samples coming as well. Make sure to thumbs up this video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.